All right, hey guys, um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview on how I have um, all of the snakes and the two boards set up right now to uh, receive channels uh, for recording and for playback, basically based on the, um, the configuration for the Dante network that we had to do for our monitors, these guys here that are laying all around, um, the way that we had to um, set up the Dante network, we are not really able to record all 32 channels plainly, um, but we are able to record uh, through another console um, by dumping the channels over AES-50. So let me show you how I'm doing that. Basically, um, all of the channels are coming uh, from these two snakes. Uh, these two snakes uh, are connected. I'll show you. Daisy chain together, um, and then the output um, of the the master snake snake one is going into the A input on the M thirty two here. Um, additionally, the B input AES fifty B is going to the A input on uh, the M32R. So in that way, they both have access um, to one another's channels uh, by sending and receiving. Additionally, um, this Dante network, like I said, uh, this card is set up to run into uh, the live mix splitter, which is under my laptop right now. And I'm taking USB out of the M32R into my computer. Um, so essentially what's happening is um, on the M32R, uh, initially you would have the routing set up in order to just be receiving all the channels. You'd have your routing set up um, so that all of your channels are coming from, uh, sorry, all of your channels are coming from AES50, a, because that's where your snakes are set up in the A input. So we get all 32 inputs there. Um, but as you can see on the side, you know, those are my A inputs, but the M32R is connected uh, on AES 50B. So I need to send these 32 inputs that I'm getting from the snakes out to uh, that mixer. So pop over to my uh, AS50B output, and on the B output, I'm sending the exact same 32 channels that I'm receiving from the snakes. So the A inputs are going to the B outputs. Um, and then on the M32R, when I go to my routing settings, my home, my inputs are those ASA inputs, uh, because you can see it considers the uh, M32R to be the its A source. So, snakes are AES50A into the M32. Out of the M32 on the on the B side, um, they're going. Those same 32 channels are heading into uh, the M32R. And then, on the M32R, basically you just tell it to send all of its channels through the card output, all those same 32 channels through the card output, the USB card, and that USB card is recording into my computer. Um, now I have a bunch of stems that I downloaded here uh, for free. Um, just to test the playback capability. I, I did do some recording and it works, um, but I can't play 32 channels at the same time. So I, I just, I downloaded some. Um, and what I did is basically set all of these up so that uh, each is sending to its in owned individual channel. I'm using the DN32 as a, um, as the sound card, as my input and my output. So I'm sending each individual channel, vocals, uh, all the instrumentals, whatever. Um, 
out that way to each individual channel. So then they're being received on the M32 um, through the expansion card. They're being received, and I have the option if I want to, I could go to the home button here and I could choose, you know, playback each one over over the card, um, my inputs on the card, and then I could control it on this surface here. But I want to control it on the M32. So what I do is. See there, my M32 is my A output, so I basically go into my AESA output, which is routing to the original M32, and I tell it to send my card outputs. So my each of my 32 card outputs are going routing over A, uh, AES50A, back into this guy. So then what I have to do, essentially, since it's receiving the channels from the M32R on the B network, I have to change my home inputs all to AES50B. So I go to B, 1 through 8, 9 through 16, 17 to 24, etc. Um, there's not enough channels for it to matter for the aux so much, so I just set up those 32, and then when I play, uh, off of Ableton here, um, you'll see on the M32R, nothing's happening. It's not getting any signals through. Uh, even if I look at the meters, there's nothing coming through on the meters because it itself is not receiving any of the channels. It's basically going USB directly into the M32R and then right back out of the AES50 port into the M32, and you'll see um, these guys moving. If I look at the meters, you can see all the different inputs um, receiving signal, and if I turn up the master, you can hear it. And I have control over everything. So that's the deal. Out of the snakes into the original M32 AES50A, rounding those out to the M32R using the AES50 network as well, and then from there dumping them into the computer. Conversely, from the computer over USB uh, into the M32R, and then using the AES50 network to send them back to the M32, and when you change the routing to receive it from the M32R, uh, then you have full control. And that's how we're going to do it.